what is up my CAD explorers, CAD CAM explorers. Um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> show you how to create an OnShape account so we can begin 3D modeling. So what you're going to do, first thing is go to www.onshape.com, enter, and then you're going to click sign in. You guys should not have an account yet. Uh, if you do, great, but most likely you will not. So you're going to go sign up. And then you're going to go into Onshape Education, so Education Account. Then you're going to just put in your name and your BP Tech email. So whatever your name is, it would be Jay Ford, uh, and then the year of graduation. I believe you guys are 24 at bptech.org. Um, that doesn't exist, so I'm going to create an account here. But make sure you use your BP Tech account. Put student, school level, K through 12, and then get started. This next uh, detail, school name is Bristol... Plymouth Technical School. The website is www.bptech.org. Taunton, Mass, USA. Graduation year 2024. What are you using Onshape for? School. I am over 13. I agree to use this plan for classes. I agree, and I am not a robot. No matter if you feel like you are a robot, you are not a robot. Continue. Now you should get an email through Onshape. It might take a minute. I'm hoping I get an email. Because that is how you you are going to sign in. And it may take a little bit of time. So basically, when you get the email, you're going to click into the email, and it's going to have you, um, it's going to have you click into Onshape, and you should not have any issue with that, because I might be having an issue because I don't, I'm not at BP Tech, but. Um, you should you should be able to get right in. So once you are in, once you are in, you're going to um, see this sort of setup. So you'll have access to, uh, this is kind of like the control panel. And what you're going to do is to create your first part, you're just going to go into create document and we'll name this top. Click OK. And you're in. So. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go through it real quick on your how to make a top. So you will potentially be making a top when you go into in-person learning. So um, I figure why not you guys can make one uh, virtually first. So these are planes. So you planes are uh, basically kind of like surfaces that you would draw on. And then the plane is uh, it's a two-dimensional surface that extends out 
infinitely in all directions. So in 3D, we're constantly um, talking about three different planes, the front, the top, and the right. Um, so this is your little, uh, your little cube that let, allows you to scroll through things. So, um, and you can see the planes are kind of moving around as you move, um, move the, the cube back and forth. If you ever get disoriented, you can just spin this around, click on front, and it'll bring you right to the front plane. Or if you rather go to the top or bottom, you can click on bottom, um, etc. So, we'll, we're going to start in the front plane, and we're going to start by creating a sketch. So, I'm going to click on sketch, and it asks us which plane do you want to start on. So select a plane. I'm going to select front plane. So now there's a sketch being made on the front plane. I don't need these planes here anymore. So I'm going to click, I'm going to hit the key P, and that's going to get rid of my planes. So now I'm just, it's kind of like I'm drawing on a piece of paper now. This is my origin point. So I'm going to use that as a reference. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a line. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is to check what which units I'm in. So to check what units I'm in, I'm going to go right here, document menu, go into um, workspace units, and inch, that looks good to me. And these are all sort of, uh, these are like how it displays. So like how many decimals, I could increase that if I wanted. I'm not going to mess with that. Inches is good. So notice how that escaped out of the sketch. I want to go back into that sketch, which is right here. So I'm going to double click on that sketch. If I want to see my planes again, I can also click on these eyes. And they will, and they will bring up the planes. Okay, so now that I have a sketch on the front plane, I am going to click on line, this tool right here. Notice the L is in, uh, in, or in parentheses. That's a hotkey, meaning if I click on L, it will automatically prompt and toggle that on. So kind of like the P, the P prompt, uh, is a toggle for the planes. Same idea with the line. So with the line, I'm going to start here in the origin where it's where it highlights orange. I'm going to click, and then you don't have to hold down the click. You can just click it once, and then it starts extending out. So I'm going to extend up, and then I'm going to ex extend another uh, horizontal line out. I'm going to come down here to where it kind of snaps here, and I'm going to stop here. I'm going to come out this way, and then from at an angle, I'm going to come down until it snaps again to the origin. So I'm going to come down here to the origin, and click again, and I'm going to finish it off, kind of like a connect the dot. Now I am going to dimension this out so it, kind of, it makes a little more sense. So to add dimensions to this drawing, I'm going to hit the um, key D, so D as in dimension. It is right here, but I like the hotkeys. I'm going to hit D. Now I am going to click on this line, one click, bring out your dimension, click again. I'm going to make this one half of an inch, so 0.5. Enter. And notice how it shrunk everything down. Depending on how big you made your um, initial drawing, it's going to either expand it or reduce it. In my case, it reduced it because I was using uh, larger sizes. So the next um, next thing 
I'm going to dimension. So dimension's already toggled on, so I don't need to hit D. If I hit D again, it's going to toggle it off. So I need, I need it toggled on, so hit D. Click on your uh, vertical member. I'm going to make this 0.5 inches. And then I'm going to uh, click this line here and this point here. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger to give it a more of a pointed edge. So I'm going to make that two inches. And then I'm going to check it off. So now I have, um, it looks like an arrow, right? But what do you think would happen if I extruded this out? So extrude means if you pull out this image, right? It's still going to be, it'll be like a square looking arrow. So I don't actually want to extrude this image. We are going to revolve. So these are all three dimensional features that you can add to your design. So we're going to actually revolve this sketch around an origin so basically we're taking this sketch and we're going to spin it around this origin so it'll it'll actually end up being a top so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on sketch i'm going to click on revolve and then it says revolve axis i'm going to click on this i have to click on that and then click on this axis and then check it off. So now I have a three-dimensional object. So using my cube, I can kind of I can look at it. I can I can spin it up, and from this view, it kind of looks like a a roof. But this is this is a top. This is actually something you are going to create in in person. Um, exploratory. So that's a top and it's a lot more difficult when you're cutting it from metal. So uh, and that's kind of an example of how how easy and quick you can create things virtually. The, these give you an idea of how how it would work, how it would act, how it would look. Um, but until you actually make it out, you're not going to see the actual the true feature and like the material and um, that sort of thing. So we can actually 3D print these. And if you go to my uh, YouTube channel, you'll see some tops that we 3D printed. Um, another kind of cool feature in here is uh, you can you can select. So isometric is just a view. It's a different viewpoint. Isometric view, trimetric, same sort of thing. It's just a different angle. Um, so you can actually mess around with the shades, uh, shaded without edges, kind of give it a smooth look. Um, and then you can, you can also mess around. So right click on this part and, uh, edit appearance and you can change the color of it. I kind of like, um, like lighter, lighter shades because you get to see the shadows a little bit better. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of, it's a very, very basic sort of um, exploratory of Onshape, which is the 3D modeling program that we're using through this uh, remote schooling. So if, you, if you're into it and you want to keep going, um, this is all I'm going to require you to get guys to do through exploratory, so pretty simple. But if you want to keep going with it, I recommend you going to my YouTube channel, which I've attached. Um, and there's a bunch of, there's a, so I have it organized through playlists and, um, the playlists are usually project based. So with my sophomores, I'm doing a, a house project. Um, with my juniors, I'm doing a light bulb project. Um, we had a car build that was for last year. And then this is the top I was talking about. Um, the ones that say on shape are the ones that are on shape. And then SolidWorks is the other program that we use quite a bit. Um, 
But so you would, if you want to build something else, you can go into some of these Onshape projects. And um, so the YouTube channel, I'll have that in the in the um, slides if you want to check it out. And yeah, uh, so um, great job, and I'll see you soon.